I am going to have them completely wear this section to the dirt. Buggy, hey, what am I doing? Wood chips. Wood chips. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Your favorite. Yeah. Last of them. Last of them. Finally getting to them. Yes. All right. Good morning, beautiful people. Actually, uh, good afternoon, beautiful right. people. I am uh, finally done doing all of the other things that I do on a regular basis. <laughs> all right. So today I'm going to try to get the pigs moved, but that's going to require me to finish wood chipping that last little section. I've been trying to get up there and actually deal with this for ages. Yeah. Too I mean, it's it's been since our wreck that kind of threw a, a monkey wrench in everything it feels like everything has been just like shaken up and scrambled yes we're getting back That's right we're getting back to it all right i'm gonna grab the things i need to grab and head off in the woods All right, I've made it up here. These guys are ready to move. They have consumed everything that they can reach. They're ready. The only hold up is me. I had uh, actually hoped to have them moved, I don't know, two weeks ago, something like that. So over here, you can see, if you look hard, these T-posts right here, they have survey string tied to them. That string was there when I started clearing this jungle. Um, I had originally came through and I cleared the property line all in here it is a still a huge mess but as you can see the last little bit that i need to clear is just that little thick section it's maybe 15 20 feet it's not bad it's just a whole bunch of like itty bitty little spindly trees and a whole bunch of this green briar stuff this stuff is like dealing with barbed wire it just the vines are hard and they're everywhere and they're just they grow up and they get in the treetop and then when you cut a tree down like here's a good example i have cut all of these on this this tree right here and they just die and then stay in the tree so if i were to bring one of those trees down i get to deal with all those vines it's a pain in the neck uh it's a pain in the everything all the random puncture wounds i have and they'll poke right through gloves no problem so it doesn't really matter. You just have to be real careful when dealing with them. So it kind of takes a minute. All right, I could yak all day, but I won't. I want to get this done and I want to get them moved up here. What they do is they actually dig up these cat briar tubers. These grow from a tuber. The pigs love them, so free food. One more thing before I start. If you guys start seeing random tagging, these are all pawpaws. I found a grove of pawpaws back in here that I didn't know was here. So I'm trying to work around those. I don't want to put the pigs in here with all of them because they'll, you know, destroy them. I'd rather let them grow and do their thing. Yeah, I had no idea that there were so many pawpaws. And there's actually a whole bunch of pawpaws in there too. All right, I'm going to see if I can get the wood chipper closer over that way, uh, just so I don't have to drag trees so far.
Ta-da! All right, that's as clear as I'm gonna clear it right now. When I come in here to start turning this into an orchard after the pigs have moved out, we're talking like spring, I might take out the rest of these in here. I don't need some of these trees in here. They'll actually kind of shade out the orchard, which might be okay. Make it into a little microclimate over here. I'm going to take tools in, and it's actually a lot later than I thought it was. We're pushing on three o'clock. So I'm gonna go have lunch real quick, see what, there, see what I can scrounge up, and then while I'm up there, I'll grab help, and we'll come out here and get the pigs all moved. I'm going to come in here and stick a camera in your face while you're doing dishes. <laughs> so did you accomplish what you wanted to accomplish? Uh, sort of. I got the bread ready. It's rising. I need to cook that. I'm done. I didn't know you were making bread. I just saw the tomatoes. Oh, yeah. They're in here and they're like soft, so I still need to mill them. And... Wow, you haven't made granola in a long I time. I know, and I've been wanting it. All right, well, I'm going to scrounge up something to eat and grab the help. All right, just because I know people are going to ask. They're like, Meg was working with tomatoes, and you never explained what she was doing with them. Got the food meal out, everything's all cooked up. What are you making? I'm gonna make barbecue sauce. And like a super easy barbecue sauce, like just put spices in it and thicken it up. It makes a great base if we want a specific, like, tasting barbecue yeah. sauce. If we're doing wings, then we can season it up extra. Right. Or if we want to turn it into like a ketchup-y yeah. type thing. We can, yeah. Yeah, so I'll put some vinegar and some sugar and molasses and all the spices and all mm -hmm. that. And then just cook it until it's thick and voila, homemade get barbecue my sauce. two pints out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's all said and done, it sure does cook down it to nothing. It really does. It almost makes it not worth it, but it is worth it. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. Cool. All right, I'm done snacking. I'm going to grab Whatever boys I can find. I haven't seen hide nor hair of them. They, it is a beautiful day and mm -hmm. they are out running and doing whatever they're doing. It's like the best weather ever. It it's beautiful blue skies, kind of breezy, it's cool. Yeah. You can run around like a like a Ubangi mm -hmm. and not break a sweat. So they're loving life. Yep. All right, to the woods. All right, help is on the way and I'm gonna grab a bucket of bribery. Let's see. Oh yeah, all sorts of good stuff. I'm actually gonna get a little scoop of feed and put that in there just to kind of fill it out. I'm actually going to use the other set of nets. That way I don't have to play the, the speed game where I dump the feed, move the pigs, tear down the net, and move the net all before all said pigs have devoured all the feed. So I'll just get up here and set up the other net, the other set of nets, and uh, get it all ready. And then all I have to do is just lift the net up, let them in, and put it back down, and they're all locked in. So my plan is I am going to have them completely wear this section to the dirt. I want all of those catbriar tubers dug up and eaten. This was so thick with all those briars I think doing this, just this run right here, took me as long as doing most of what I've already done. Because every single tree was just held together by vines. It was ridiculous. Got them all moved, went off without a hitch. I'm happy. Um, I've got to drag a hose over here, dump their water out, move it up to this pen, and that's it. That was uh, one of the more easy moves. Having it all cleared out, it is so much easier to move and be able to do things. 
Now there are a couple pawpaws that are in there, which is kind of a bummer. But I've noticed like they didn't really mess with them too much in here, like this one. They did eat them, but not very well. For those of you who don't know, a pawpaw is like a, it's a tropical fruit. It's native to uh, like the Eastern United States. They're kind of somewhere in between a banana and a mango. I've tasted them before, they're really tasty. All right, let me get the water and uh, finish up. Hey Jack, help pull. So that was a piece of foam. I just took it to the sander, sanded it round. This is a driveway reflector fiberglass thing. I took off one of the bungs, knocked out the knockout, and just shoved a piece of pipe in it because that hole's threaded. Shoved that into the end of that. And now I have an indicator float. When it's all red, that means the drum is out of water. If I can still see, you know, these two, I didn't have any green paint or all I had was a blue, blue Sharpie and then I had some red spray paint. But it works remarkably well when I'm like walking by or if I'm down there at the barn. It's like, yep, I can still see blue, so we're still good. Works great. Looks like the pigs are happy. Little ones are happy. The big ones are happy. They got themselves a new place to tear up. I love happy pigs. I love happy animals. One bad day, right? Record <laughs> is why I popped the screen out is so I can see. All right. I actually recorded this whole bit about five, 10 minutes ago. I went to go stop recording and I hadn't even pushed record. <laughs> I was like, oh man, it happens. Hey, hey, what are you doing with the chairs? Here, how about you come here? I'll hold you. That way we don't have chairs pulled out and all over the place. You want to explain what we got for dinner? Uh, taco taters. I got tacos in here. Tacos? Or taco taters. Did I say taco? Taters in here. Taters in here. You got tacos in there? I got taters. Man, if you would make tacos, like pull out a whole taco from the inside. That pot. would be cool. Like. I would like freeze dried tacos. You just add water, stick them in the instant pot, and steam them. And and that actually doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, taters in there, and then taco meat over here. Stick on top of the taters, and then I got like lettuce and toppings and stuff. Like that. Sweet. And awesome. My barbecue sauce is simmering away. Reducing, reducing. and reducing. You're reducing a bushel, half a bushel of tomatoes down to three or four pints of yeah, barbecue sauce. Probably. Oh well. I'll take what I can get. It's all right. It's all good. Oh, and you want me to point out that stuff? Yeah, Buggy <laughs> likes that stuff. Yes, he does. That's, uh, that's homemade granola. Yeah. You started making this when we got here. Yeah. And made it for like, oh, I don't know, like two years? Year and a half solid. Like, yeah. it was the go-to snack. And then I guess we all burned out on it because the last batch you'd made lasted like three months. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, I'm not I'm gonna right. make it if nobody's gonna eat it. Right, but uh, it sounded good. I wanted some more granola. Well, it's been long enough. I bet you that stuff doesn't hang around. Well, long. the kids have already had like a cup full with milk, <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah, go for it. I'll just make more." <laughs> it's all right. We can do yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, find our children. Find our children and eat some dinner. All right. You want to ring the bell? Mm-hmm. Open it. Okay. Don't fall out. Dinner was a hit. It's always a hit. It's a nice, simple, easy, mm -hmm. stick easy, to your ribs, stick to your ribs kind of meal. Yep. With that, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. So we will pick it up tomorrow. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.